Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 39 Ford. So there's a 350 under the hood. It's a four door and the top goes down. It's got one beautiful restoration and I'm gonna love showing you this car. Look at that chrome, looking slick. Look at that paint job, looking smooth. She is beautiful. All the lines on this car are just screaming beauty. Slick as can be, all the reflections are looking great. All the chrome's looking sweet. Look at this interior. You want to talk about custom? Look at that door panel. Man, that is beautiful. Hats off to the interior guy. He did a beautiful job. That dash is looking sweet. Gauge is looking good. Banjo steering wheel. Seat belts, beautiful upholstery on the seats. Of course, the back doors open up also, so you can take grandma and grandpa with you to the ice cream store. No problem whatsoever. Take this baby to the uh, parade, homecoming, whatever. Just a beautiful car here, guys. Like I said, the top goes down. If you want to check out about 100 pictures of the car, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. You can see about a hundred of pictures of the car. There's a latch down here somewhere, my cameraman told me. There it is. Those are the centers for the uh, windows there for the four door. So there's plenty of room there in the trunk to get plenty of stuff to head out to the beach. Look down the side of it. The body work on this car is just phenomenal. Talk about award winning, take this anywhere, guaranteed to go home with all the awards. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. Right now we have a little over 200 cars in stock and we own every one of those cars. We're bringing in about 40 new cars every month and I'm in charge of picking out every one of those cars and I've got about 35 years of experience in the business and I'm gonna put those 35 years to work for you to help you pick out your dream car. All right, 39 Ford time, let's go for a ride. Top goes down, guys. You wanna talk about fun? Four doors and the top goes down and we got late model power under the hood. Driving like a sweetheart right here. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this beauty anywhere in the world. You just give Tom a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will explain to you how easy that process is. He can ship this baby anywhere. And we can help you out with financing. If you want some help with financing, we got about three different bankers we work with right now. They can make that process real easy for you too. Tom and the bankers will take care of all the paperwork for you. All you need to do is make that phone call. Give Tom a call and he will take care of the rest. Power steering feels good. You look down here on the dash, all the gauges are working, the speedo's working. Even the horn's working. We've got tilt column here, banjo steering wheel, air conditioning, beautiful paint. Just a gorgeous ride here, guys. And did I mention the top goes down? I think I'd put the top down and leave it down. How many time I'd put the top down up is when I'd get caught in the rain or maybe on a day like today. It is a beautiful day out today, but just a bit, it's probably about 60 degrees out. That wind is just a little bit cool. That's when it's nice to have that top, keep a little bit of that wind off. 
even though I got the window down, still a beautiful day to be out driving your hot rod. And we invite you to please come visit us. Even though we send about 95% of our cars out sight unseen, we love to have you come out and visit us in person. Now this one windshield's got one little rock chip in it. We're gonna have that replaced. Now we're about to do something nobody else in the industry does. We're gonna put this car up on the lift so you can check out the underside, pop the hood, see what's making the power. We're here at our shop at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. So stick with us, we're gonna get it up in the air for you right now. All right guys, this is the underside of our 1939 Ford sedan. Uh, starting from the back forward as we like to do, first thing I wanna point out here, if uh, Greg didn't do it in the showroom video, uh, this is actually a popper for the trunk um, so you can get into it you know, uh, from outside of the car. Moving forward to that, you can see we've got a nice gas tank here, a plastic gas tank of course over the, uh, the steel one, no rust to be found on that. Moving forward to that, we do have, uh, looks like just stock lines on the thing. We got a, a Ford 9 inch here. We have drum brakes on either side of it. Uh, here at Vanguard, we pull all this stuff apart and make sure that everything's in good shape for you guys so that you have uh, safe brakes. Moving forward to that, um, a little more information about your Ford 9 inch here. You have a 273 to 1 gear ratio. It is an open differential. Um, it does look to me like the parking brake is actually hooked up on this car too, which is really cool. Shock's looking good. Looks like a stock, just normal set of mufflers on the thing. Looks like a fairly uh, recent exhaust as well. Something else I'd like to point out about this car is the floor pan work actually looks like it's in really nice shape. I don't know if they've done pans, but if they did, they did the whole thing because you can't see a seam anywhere on this. So it's very, very nice. And it is stock pans is what it looks like. Uh, another thing too about the uh, stockness of the car is you can see that the frame rail looks to be like the original type frame rail that would be in it. The only thing that they've done here that I can see is they've made a hole here for this uh, aftermarket master cylinder, which is a dual well master cylinder. You do have power brakes on this car, which is very cool. And of course, new lines all running everywhere. On the other side over here, you've got AN fuel line and whatnot that runs all of your uh, modern engine that you're going to see up front in just a second. As far as the transmissions go, you have a 1973, from what I can tell, um, Turbo 350. Now, of course, the case is a 73. Who knows, you know, the, the transmission more than likely has been rebuilt. It looks too good to be 1973. Um, moving forward of all of that, this is the underside of our GM 350 crate motor, and we're going to get to that in just a second. Trans lines here. Looks like the bottom of the uh, front cross member here. Now, one thing to be said about this uh, car here, it, it does have aftermarket front suspension on it. It has been upgraded to a uh, independent suspension. You do have a rack, uh, rack and pinion suspension on this thing. It uh, looks like you do have power steering on it as well. They have upgraded brake lines uh, up here, the, um, you know, the Goodyear type brace, stainless braided lines here, very, very cool. Uh, and outside of that, you have disc brakes as well on the front. So you have a drum out back, power disc in the front. Everything looks like it's greasable and a nice uh, underside of our radiator here. We're gonna get to that once again in just a second. Looking at wheels and tires, we do have 215, 50, R17. Uh, looks like a set of Kregers, uh, not the SS, is a little bit different wheel choice, but it looks good on this car. Taking a look at the back, we have 215, 60, R17 back here, and uh, same good looking rim, just a little bit different. Uh, that all being said, let's take a look at the GM crate motor underneath the hood. Good. All right guys, this is where uh, all the magic happens over here. GM 350 crate engine. Um, now, something to be said about this is they spent the money on the chrome. There's, it's absolutely everywhere. We got air cleaner, valve covers, intake manifold, all the hoses, even the fan. It does have a, a nice set of billet pulleys on the thing. They are still V-belt pulleys, but it does have a nice set of pulleys on it. Uh, GM one wire alternator, of course, that's chrome too. Yep, indeed, it is a GM one wire. Uh, something else to be said about this is you do have an AC compressor over here, which that means you got AC guys. Um, looks like just like a Flexilite flan down here. It has been chromed up. Even the uh, power steering pump pulley has been chromed up on this thing. And now, uh, that being said, it does, and you heard me say it underneath too, it does have power steering on this thing. Got nice braided lines running all of it. Uh, you can see the top end of our uh, independent suspension up there. Running the ignition out back, we have an MSD, uh, actually an HEI version of an MSD ignition system, which is kind of cool. You don't often see that here. Um, firewall looks absolutely beautiful. It looks like the heater hoses are also hooked up on this thing. So you got heat and AC. Uh, nice uh, AN uh, braided line running to the carburetor here. Overall, really, really nice. Very well done. Looks like you even got horns down here. Uh, firewall paint, if I didn't already say it, looks beautiful. Inside of the fender wells look good. Bottom side of the hood looks good. I and mean, everything, this thing is built pretty much to show. Nice, uh, looks like a aluminum radiator, if I'm not mistaken. It has been painted black, but it is also very, very nice. That all being said, if you'd like to have this car parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park 539 in your driveway.